My name is Davina and here I have with me Nada. And today we're going to do a live art session with Pip from Pip of Art. And if you want to find her, we will share her Facebook link and her Instagram link below as well. So Pip, if you guys didn't tune into our last session, Pip is a breast cancer survivor, stage two. And she uses art as a form of art therapy to cope with things that she's going through. And today we're going to be talking about how we can use art therapy to cope with what kind of different kinds of struggles that we go through in life. And we're also gonna be talking about family and the pandemic that we're going through as well. Um, Pip, would you like to talk to us about what kind of art we're gonna to do today? Yeah, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Right, good morning to everybody. Uh, hi, you guys can call me Pip. Um, today, uh, what I'm going to paint and share with you step by step is this uh, beautiful, um, minimal um, plant. I, I seriously, I do not remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very uh, popular plant that Malaysian collect these days. Mm -hmm. So I'm very sure this plant doesn't look alien to many of us. So this is just two leaves on this canvas. So I'm going to show how we're going to make the background. Mm -hmm. um, the green, the green that we're going to use is not a standard uh, green that we take out of the box. So we have to mix it to the green. And we're going to show you how we make the wavy leaves. Okay. So this is what we call, this is something um, uh, in a concept of minimalism. So I think uh, we use very less color to create this artwork. Mm -hmm. So I think we can, we can start today. Today I'm going to be using um, a smaller canvas so that we have enough time to complete this artwork during this life. This is 30 by 20 cm um, canvas and I'll be using um, acrylic paint. Okay, so first, for the background, I'm going to be mixing um, two, three colors. Okay, this is rose matter. For those who doesn't have this color, it's more like uh, pink. So you can use, uh, sorry, it's more like red. You can use, um, if those are who are you using um, watercolor, they don't have this color. So what you can do to achieve this color is use red and mix it with pink. Just a little bit of pink and you'll get this color. So is it okay if sometimes I speak in Malay? So because we yeah, have- Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> if my VM is very bad, but I will be really hard to follow. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be. <laughs> this it'll is gonna be good. Be fun. Uh, for anyone on Facebook Live, guys, please comment if you have any questions for Pip, and then we yeah. will send our questions over. So, Pip, how is minimalist artwork different from abstract artwork? Well, abstract artwork, we normally use a lot of colors. Okay, okay there's no um, line definition, there's no uh, rule that you need to set for minimalism. Right. There's, a, there's a rule of there's a need to be a lot of space on the yeah. artwork and we use very minimal uh, mm -hmm. amount of color on the canvas. So on this one, you only see one to three colors. Yeah. So we're going to use more colors than, than, than what your eyes can see. <laughs> and then you'll okay. teach us how to blend it all together. Yeah. Okay. So I nak pulang balik yang pink yang I pakai ni. Nama dia rose matter. Kalau you guys pakai um, watercolor, color ni tak ada. So you can pakai color merah, campur dengan pink sikit. Tak payah banyak-banyak. Mix dia together, you'll get this color. So for I actually make two layers for the background. First is going to be a bit macam pink belacan. Uh, okay, let me mix this color first. After this, we're going to use sponge. Ooh. I always think it's really exciting how you can use any kind of tool <laughs> you're painting, really. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can 
Um, okay, what happened to Nada? Nada went missing. <laughs> still here with us? I know. So do you prefer minimalist artwork over abstract artwork? Um, to be honest, I prefer mixing both of it. Mm. Uh, minimalism for me is too minimal. It doesn't give me the full satisfaction. If there is a commission that comes in, I don't mind doing it for a client. But um, I would definitely prefer minimalism combined with abstract. That, that is a warm combination for me, to be honest. Nice. I guess it's like um, it's easier to express yourself. There's yeah. less rules with abstract art. I remember last time she said it's more satisfying for her. So both, mm. I think, like for her, minimalist by itself, it didn't abstract by itself. So when she joined them, yeah. her personality, and that's what it, it's actually. It, it everybody will have their own um, preferences according to. You know the personality that they have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've done here is I've mixed um the pink, uh white, and just a dash of black. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't want to use more so much black, you'll ruin the color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is this is a very normal kitchen sponge that we use to wash the dishes <laughs> okay um okay we're gonna cover the first um we're gonna do the first layer on the canvas using the sponge just spread the color all over well that's really pretty yeah see yeah. it's a very pretty thing it's like mm -hmm. my pillow yeah <laughs> matching <laughs> matching i didn't realize that like a pastel kind of pink. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. You can see that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is the color you uh you you need to try to achieve. Okay. So, but if you get a little lighter or a little darker, it does not matter because later on I'll be I'll be adding another layer. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's only white. Uh, on top. Obviously, so we need a bit of time to let this dry. What I did just now is I add a lot of water before using the sponge so that I get a very thin layer of this pink because I don't want so much. We don't need so much anyway. Okay. So yeah. see, you can you can still see the canvas. Correct. Uh, because it's very teeny that I apply. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. That's Just now you mentioned watercolor. Do you suggest, what do you suggest for beginners? Watercolor or acrylic? Um, honestly, for beginners, watercolor will suit the best because you can create a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, with watercolor and watercolor allow you to blend very well compared to acrylic. Acrylic dries up very fast. Mm. So if you're trying to make a mountain and try to blend three, four colors, you, you have to like work really fast. If not, it will dry up and you have to start all over again. Okay. But for watercolor, if you just let it be and then you want to go away and then do something else and come back and continue mixing, you're still able to do that. Okay, I think it's definitely yeah. for me because I can't make up my mind very easily. And if I start painting, I'll be so nervous. <laughs> and with the acrylic paint, I'll be like, paint fast, paint fast. It'll be... <laughs> yes, yes. Because be when, so I, uh, when I first started uh, painting, I started with acrylic. Oh. And then I moved to oil because oil has around the same... Uh, attitude with uh, um, watercolor because you can mix it easily and then it takes time to, to dry up. 
But during chemo, I started with actually thinking that, you know, I have four kids, although I'm just sitting in the room, but I have four kids and then I need to solar, you know, it takes time for me to wash everything. So I, I choose actually because it's easier to, to manage. I see. Yeah. Um, and then I have to learn all over again how to paint using Archilate because I've never used it before. Okay, so you started when you were in college, right? You started painting. Yeah, around that time, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you started with Archilate paint. Wow. That's so impressive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while we're waiting, I want to show you how to mix the green that I use on the canvas, uh, on the artwork. So I will be using four colors to get this green. This is sap green. This is phthalo green. And, and I'll be using white and black. Okay, yang siapa yang pakai watercolor, ini typical um, hijau pekat, ini biru pekat. Okay, so I nak tunjuk macam mana nak <coughs> dapatkan green tu. Hijau pekat. Oh. So, yeah, so you really have the blue and green are thick colors, right? Thick colors okay. for color colors. Um, from this time, uh, Nada, I'm using very um, thin layer because um, we are painting um, something under minimalism. Minimalism doesn't have any texture. It doesn't have any thick colors on it. So uh, it's a different concept altogether from abstract. So it's just going to be a very thin um, layer this time. So um, as you can see, it's around the same amount of blue and green. Yeah. So I'm going to try to mix this first. Okay. You mix them all together, right? The white, yeah. green, blue. Um, while mixing this, um, try to mix the white um, bit by bit so that you you know when to stop when you get the right color. Kita nak cari color hijau ni macam hijau um, askar, the army green. Okay, so I'm also adding a bit of black. Okay. So the four colors for those who are following us, we have the blue, green, white, and a little bit of black, not too much. Yes, and yes. You, you, you blend the green and the blue first together, and then you start adding a little bit of white. Yep. Until you reach the shade that you like. Um, the color that I'm getting is like more mm. turquoise. Can you see? It's more turquoise than I mean green, so I'm not happy with this. I think I'm gonna add a bit more green. Mm. Yeah. Mixing color is actually very satisfying to do, especially when you work with acrylic because the the paint is really thick. I guess it's like a form of therapy on its own. Just create. Yes, um, it is. Yeah. Okay. Siapa yang nak cuba paint using acrylic, I suggest um, you guys can buy the small tubes. Mm -hmm. A set of small tubes as a start and learn about color mixing because you don't need to have all the colors in the world. You can start with um, red, yellow, blue, black, white. So all the uh, premier color. Mm -hmm. So learn about mixing colors, enjoy that process, and then it'll be fun to paint. Because sometimes when we take a reference picture and you see like an old very rare color that you use on a, 
artwork and you'll be stressed out how do you go about achieving those colors so that's why i always you know encourage people to if you want to start some painting learn about color mixing first there's a lot of videos on youtube teaching us how uh, you know how to mix colors because there are super many greens and blues and pink uh, that you can achieve from a simple basic color. I see, yeah. that's a really good tip. Because yeah. I have I have all these paint here that's just in my wardrobe. I've never used it. They just sit there. I'm too scared to start. <laughs> but I think uh, it's less intimidating to start if I'm not really, um, if my goal Goal isn't to create an artwork it's just to learn about how to mix yes. colors and yeah, get yeah. To the paintbrush to the feel of it in my hand yeah. yeah have a sketchbook that will help because sketchbook is less intimidating than you putting up um you know a blank canvas in front of you and you know having the the material uh in your head you know that at the end of the day you need to come up with something great yeah so, so start with sketchbook okay definitely that's why my canvas are all empty here for so many years <laughs> <laughs> okay i think i'm happy with my green now okay um i'm going to make another layer for this canvas it's just going to be white this time okay um it's going to be like really Uh, okay, give me a minute. I lost my time. Sekarang, I dapat pink. Pink ni, very thin layer. It's almost dry. Okay, dah nak kering dah. So, I think I can, dia dah separuh kering. So, I dah boleh buat the second layer. Second layer ni, is just water and white. Um, What you can do is, you can use um, macam I pakai tadi plate jenis senang nak mix a color but I use the plate already so I'm just gonna basahkan my sponge mix it with white and then put another layer the reason why we do this is because um, I not achieve uh, pink as a background, but it's not too pink. Right. And the, the concept for minimalism is actually, the background is always white, uh, but it's not, it's not entirely just white. That's a process to achieve that. So this is one of the process um, to achieve the background for minimalism. Do your two boys join you in painting? Come again. Do your two boys join you when you paint? Do they like oh, they do. Well? Yeah? Today, I have to warn them. Yesterday, I said I have class today. It's a serious class. Nobody joined me. <laughs> I have to warn them. <laughs> because the last time I made live for my Instagram, okay, yeah. I said, okay, come paint along with mommy. It ended up like so havoc. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because the the my youngest, you know, he's only five. He's turning five soon, so he's very adventurous. So when mommy is not looking, oh, he does it. <laughs> his own art class. What a curiosity could happen. <laughs> yeah, he actually squeezed the whole um tube of my brown last week. I'm like, oh, there goes my brown. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to achieve. It's not okay. all white, and you can still see the, yeah, the pinkish background at the back. Mm. Yeah. It's transparent. It looks kind of transparent. It's white. Yeah, because I use a lot of water and very thin, uh, and apply very thin layer of the paint. That's very cool. It's a very cool trick. Yeah. I think this is a very easy step, right, so far? Very yeah. easy. So far, I can follow. I could do this after this. <laughs> <laughs> Later yeah, on, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how are your kids uh, doing during the FMCO? 
Um, How are you and your family handling it? Honestly, I think my husband is spoiling them because um, he keep buying toys and top upgrading their uh, game, you know, just to make sure that they they don't get bored. Yeah. But for me, um, during school holidays, they got to enjoy everything, of course. But um, during uh, school days, they still have online classes. So that really helps to keep them busy. And Alhamdulillah, the, my two boys, uh, they are 11 and 10. They can manage their work uh, by themselves. So it's very minimal guidance from me, except for the standard one. So... It's a first time experience for him going to school and now have to learn online. So he needs a lot of attention. So during school days, um, I have to, you know, forget about my painting <laughs> for a while and probably paint one or, or two during the night time. So I have to focus on them during the school days. Mm -hmm. That's um, understandable. Yeah. And how is your mental health? During this pandemic, do you think has, uh, has art been helping you? Actually, during the first time when we had our MCO, I was really positive about it. Everybody was okay. Second uh, part of the MCO was still okay, but this time I think it's really, it's really hard. Hmm. It's really, it's not just because uh, it's been a very long draggy time that we have to spend at home but it's also because the, the cases are rising like crazy and we have people who are really close to us who get affected by COVID and I have a lot of members uh, family members that were that has been uh, you know having having have to do swaps like thousand times have been admitted, have been so ill because of COVID. Sorry. And on top of that, um, we just lost uh, a family member last week, not because of COVID, uh, because she had a heart problem. But Sorry. we don't get to say our last goodbye. We don't get to visit. You know, it's a very... Hmm. Very challenging. It's it very challenging and it's heartbroken, you know, it's that you cannot go and see. And she has, like... I think five, uh, no, seven kids. And I, I can't go there and give them a hug. It's like, oh my God, Ya Allah, this is so hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that sounds really tough. I'm so sorry. Again, we don't say a last goodbye to them. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess it's, it's not as easy as it is uh, for during this third time. And we are not seeing anything going down as yet, probably in this one, two days, we see some reduction, a deduction, right? So, um, hoping that that will be consistent. <laughs> Let's pray for that. Let's pray for that and yeah. everyone will stay safe. Inshallah. So, I think this is already halfway uh, dry. Right. I'm going to make only one leaf because I have a small canvas here. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to sketch a little bit for you guys. Okay. Yeah, I can see. Give me a minute. Yes, I Take your time. You need the phone? So for those who follow us and follow our page, uh, as you all know, like last time, uh, Pip shared her story with us. So for those who would like to unlock their story, and uh, share their experience with us, please do so. And by emailing your story to us to media.miyasa at gmail.com, uh, you can email it to that, to this email address, or you can also contact us directly via, um, send us a message via Facebook um, page, all right? And uh, you can send it as text, uh, video um, or image, I believe so, right? So uh, you have three uh, ways to send and share your story. And I'm gonna just continue to follow us on uh, Facebook page, IG and YouTube channel as well. 
And for those who missed our first episode with Pep and would like to know what she has shared with us, do visit our playlist on YouTube, IG, and YouTube channel too. Yeah. So how how um, how is it for you, Divina? Since you already have all the material set, do you feel excited? <laughs> I'm too scared to start right now. It's a dream. It's still a dream and I haven't started buying the sets yet. I have, I have <laughs> the canvas sitting right next to me over here. Um, I took it out just because we have Pip here. <laughs> and I took it out from the cupboard for the first time in a long time. And I think, I, you know what, I've already learned so much and I already feel so inspired. And I am not so intimidated anymore, you know, by all the all the tips and tricks that Pip has been sharing with us. So I think after this, I'll just start mixing the acrylic paint together. A bit. <laughs> good, good, good. I hope this, that you'll be able to share that with us when you're done. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to sketch uh, where the leaf is going to be. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to take probably one third of the, just a little bit higher of the one third, not until half, um, from the middle here, around there. Okay. And I'm going to make all the way curve, curve that down, okay? I'm, I'm actually just catching it. Just, yeah, it's a bit curvy. I'm just catching it. Um, so the with with paint so that you can see it. If I'm using pencil, you won't be able to see. Okay. 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 So do you Next. suggest to do it with pencil first? Yeah, do it with okay. pencil first, and then um, you can start painting with your paint. Okay, and then it's kind of like this shape. Okay, this flower is kind of like this shape. It's like a tick, tapi tebali. Okay. So. All right, so I'm going to make that same kind of a straight line. Okay, something like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's three basic lines that you need to have. Um, you don't have to draw all the leaves because it's going to be very um uh, very easy to do this to be honest because we are not focusing on straight lines okay and it's very wavy so it can go any way you like okay so i'm going to start uh, with the first leaf up here um okay probably around there so how you do this is from the tip of this line just move your um brush to make it like we really, can you see that mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. not like your video so everyone can focus on that yeah okay something like that okay see we have successfully made the first leaf so okay. far i can do that <laughs> yeah it's very easy <laughs> and if we look at them Oh, I think I did a mistake here. Give me a minute. It's very close. Um, let's put this here. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Okay, this one. Make it longer. It has long. Leaf. Okay. So this one is longer and then it gets shorter at the bottom part. So I think I need to make this a bit longer. It's a learning process for all of us. Yeah. And, uh, it's very easy because um, it's baby and you don't have to worry about not making it right. It does not have to be uh, the late, same curve every time. Yeah. Okay. Does it have to be like systematic? Yeah. Okay. And I remember okay. um, I was really, uh, you know, impressed as, as I read about your story that you started this last year, subhanAllah. And if I didn't know that, this fact, that you look like you have been practicing this for a very long time, but <laughs> kind of it's really inspiring so. that we don't actually need a long time to, for us to, you know, have something that can be, um, 
first it represents who we are as long as yeah. we allow ourselves you know to take that risk it's okay like maybe in the beginning it would it might not look nice but as as we keep trying then things become better and better yeah it's true it's actually um there's a lot of people who have art in them just as they didn't realize because art is everything and everywhere that we see it's just that we didn't we don't actually take it as art and so when I look at Allah's creation everywhere, it's everywhere is art. You know, there are many um, self-taught artists that I know. Um, who, they actually paint better than those who actually learn art. Mm. They amaze themselves because they didn't even know that they have it in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's okay. So I just want to. Um, Cool. Uh, you know, highlight on this part, the, the connection of the two leaves is actually a bit curvy. Yeah, something okay. like that. It's not uh, like so it, it makes it look more real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can just continue making the leaf freely, not worry how it's going to turn. Just make sure that they are around the same size. Okay. Yeah, that's all you need to. And that curve. Mm -hmm. But we need to avoid the sharp edge. Yeah. Yeah. For archaic paint, as um, as we're using it, it get dry, so it get thicken up even while it's on the palette. So from time to time, you just need to add water to dilute the paint. That's a tip for the new beginners. Very interesting. Looks it's very free. Yeah. Really stroking here. Uh, so Pip, are you still going for chemotherapy treatment now? Uh, no, I have finished my chemo during um in uh, two thousand nineteen itself. It's uh, I think it's in November. Mm -hmm. That was the last chemo cycle for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the chemo cycle actually um it was six cycle, and the doctor said that it would take three months for your body to completely cleanse up uh, from the last chemo. So, because you, you need time for the immune system to repair itself, you know, a lot of cells need time to uh, be themselves again. I see. So, do you feel like your immune system is still um, weak? Alhamdulillah, um, actually last year in 2020, mm -hmm. uh, I found myself my eye was so easy to get to catch uh, running nose. Mm. So I can tell that my immune system was really not up yet. So Alhamdulillah, this year I'm a lot better. Okay. Mm. So I had a lot of fever and headache and, and running nose last year compared to this year. So far, I'm good, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay. That's so good to hear. Yeah. I I would think that trying to get to the hospital during a pandemic at this time. Oh, like, yeah. The scariest thing to do. My sister is going to give birth anytime now. Oh my god, so that's so exciting though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, at least that's one exciting news for us too. Yeah. To look for for she oh, yeah, went to the uh, to the hospital yesterday and doctor said oh it's gonna be any time now because Does the baby know if it's is a boy a girl uh we don't know yet okay it's gonna be a surprise Mm. 
Okay, wow, that's really coming together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add something. Kind of sharp edges now. We're making yeah. at the top. Um, it may not look like much now, but as we making uh, uh, after this, we'll be making the uh, the. The leaf is like a shadow on the other side. It will be, it will make this, it will change the look of this uh, artwork. How's the weather there? It's pretty good today. Yeah. No, it's usually raining. it's been yeah. raining a lot. Oh, alhamdulillah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that you struggle with when it comes to painting, like a certain kind of colors that you don't like or? Um, not really. I actually come across many surprises. Um, for an example, like fluorescent color. Mm -hmm. It's a color that people don't dare to wear or don't dare to use in life, but I have um, this series that I made, um, which I call the Chinese Ink series. Mm -hmm. I use 100% fluorescent color for the background and it turned out super magical. Wow. Yeah, it's like, who knows that fluorescent color can make yeah, uh, a big statement on a canvas and it really does. That's yeah. so daring. That's the thing about art. You have to be, you need to be brave to use the color. Mm -hmm. If you're scared, uh, even the line is not going to be beautiful. You, you need to be confident. Okay. So, um, yeah. I've already made the, the first part of the leaf right there. Okay. So using the same color, but this time I'm going to add more black to the color that we used earlier so that we get a darker green um, for the other part of the leaf. So this part, it has two parts, the front and the back. So we need the darker color for the back uh, part of the leaf. Okay, it's like a shadow mm. it's not really shadow but it's, it's just look like shadow. okay so um so this is what i got it's very dark make sure that you can see the compar uh, comparison during on the palette so that um this is what you're gonna get on the canvas if it's not dark enough then add more black Okay, so we're going to paint the other side and just use the, the space that we have next to the leaf that we have already painted, okay? This is like, um, you need to use your imagination on this part, okay? It not necessarily have to be accurate, but you just need to aga aga yeah. aga aga where it yeah. is. What, what does aga aga mean? So it's just, it's just like it. when you just um you're not following any rules and you just do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Aga aga I, yeah. is like um you just need to estimate something like that mm. uh, where it's going to be. Okay, so here I'm just gonna make it a little bit extra curvy to give it a little bit of drama. <laughs> yeah, the contrast of colors gives it like a natural look. Yeah. You know? Okay. 
So how many paintings are in progress right now since the last session? That was, I think, two weeks ago? Yeah. I normally don't leave my canvas hanging because I won't be able to sleep. So <laughs> right now, um, there's none that's in progress. I'm just waiting, for, but the, I have a few commission that came in. So I'm waiting for a few canvases to arrive so that I can complete that. Oh. How many have you completed? How many do you, would you usually complete in like two weeks time? In two weeks time? Um, yeah. Normally I paint like at least one per day, but it depends. Um, if I'm in a role, it could be three or four or five in wow. a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but at least one. I'll make sure that I paint one in a day. When you it doesn't feel right if I don't paint at all. Right. When you're painting, do you feel like you can get into the flow? Like you lose track of time and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially uh, when... I usually paint um, after three. Mm -hmm. So I need... Um, I usually tell myself, okay, two hours is enough for me to complete one painting, okay? So that... And then I'll be ready for evening uh, tea with the kids and my husband. So, no, actually that... Like rarely happen. I definitely miss that two hours is gonna be ended up to three to four hours. I didn't even realize it's been that long. That's so so when somebody come to mommy and say, "Mommy, uh, are we eating something recently?" <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's so good because I've I've read that getting into a flow state can happen when you're painting, and that that's yeah. really good for your mental health. To get it into is. A it, it's, it's a, I experience this like almost every day. You know, you get you're you're in the house, you do your house chores every day, and settling the, you know, the kids. There are many things, and uh -huh. either we realize it or not, or we admit it or not, we are in a little bit of stress each day. So when I pin, the stress is like almost gone. When I uh, when I when I finish painting because I'll turn on my music I'll I'll start painting what I want to paint I don't even have the direction sometimes to what I'm gonna paint I just take a color and I'll see where it gets me to but at the end of the day I achieve stress free which is to me that is very golden moment for me that's why i always encourage people you don't have to have talent to paint you just need to be brave and play with the colors yeah because at for as for therapy the 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 painting action itself does something in your head mm -hmm. which which i don't know how to explain that yeah. right yeah so it does something in your head it settles down all the stress and and it, it's like a pushing a refresh button. Yeah. That's yeah. so beautiful. That's so inspiring. Inshallah. Okay. So I'm still working on the leaf, the jacker leaf. It's looking more uh, lively with the that could leave on top uh, uh, on the canvas, right? Let's see? Yeah. It has like a natural look. Mm -hmm. This is the part that we, we need to just imagine where the leaf is going to be because we already have the guide. Um, of, of, of the leaves from the first part that we, we painted. So we just use that as a guide. I'm almost done.
Nadam, where are you at? I mean, where do you live? In KL? In Kota Damansara. In Kota Damansara. Okay, that's very near to uh, Miasa, right? Like 30, 30 minutes. Sometimes the journey takes me 40 minutes to drive, like drive car. Right? Ah. 30 Right. How about uh, Divina? Where do you stay? Um, I stay around KL area. So oh, it's yeah, it's going through traffic every day <laughs> to go to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nada and I started volunteering at Miasa around the same time. We met each other on our first day, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last year in September, somewhere in September or August, end of August, right? Last year? Yeah, last year. Oh, you guys are fairly new. Kind of. To me, yes, I yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, it has been a fruitful experience, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm learning uh, things every time, like new things every time. So, alhamdulillah. Great. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, in the last painting, what I want to try uh, that I that I thought looked really fun was like the specs that you did oh. right at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make it have that galaxy kind of look, that looked pretty fun. Yeah, that's, that is, um, for those who have not tried that, that would be really interesting to try. Okay, so I think that's almost coming up together now. Uh, I'm just adjusting my tongue. Okay, give me one. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing right now is actually I'm just adjusting the, um, what do you call this? The so I'm just adding um, the darker tone of paint on it mm -hmm. so that you can see two, two tones on stem. Okay, the, now the last part, this is almost ready. Okay, the last part is just um, adding very light color um, to make it like the Urat daun. I don't know what you call that <laughs> in English. The urat daun is actually um, the one like uh, it's like a wire like holding the, mm. the the leaf. So I'm going to paint that. What you need is white. We're going to use again the same uh, green that we used earlier. Just add more white so that we can we had, but just add more white yeah it's very easy so i think anybody can paint this i have pictures of the four colors which was the green the blue and a little yep. bit of black and then just add more white to it yep okay. and it'll be uh, fun to be doing this in a proper classroom isn't it yeah i've been oh, nice. imagining that for myself for years, um, you have been you have been looking for that, longing for it. I'm looking forward to three of us doing it in Yasla's office, <laughs> painting together. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice, yeah. it? I I used to have um at class for. Is it my internet, Nada? I know, I think she, she got disconnected a little bit. This is my husband. Hello, Pip? We will wait for a bit. Okay. Um, okay. I think Hello? before, yeah, did she lose me? Sorry, uh, yeah. Pip, we lost you. Welcome so back. I was actually talking alone. Oh, no. <laughs> 
so you were mentioning about that uh, you have been longing to have, you had an art class, but then that's it, we couldn't hear you after yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I had a hard, uh, art class uh, at home. Uh -huh. So um, I turned our, our room, um, it's a playroom, the kids' playroom, into art class. Um, it's art class plus baking class. So okay. I have it every um, school holidays. Yeah. Mm, and then we ha I had to stop because my husband had to work uh, out station. So there's no one, I don't have a babysitter anymore. <laughs> so I cannot cope with everything, right, at the same time. So yeah, during that time, my youngest was still, I think, two or three years old. He's everywhere. So uh, we can continue. I needed someone to help. So was this class open like for everyone or is it just kids? Uh, yeah, for so anyone who joined because I, I uh, put an ad everywhere, everywhere that is possible for me in Suramban. It's, it's not available anymore, right? Or is it? Um, not for now. Okay. I see. I have... Um, I have people asking me um, on my Instagram, Pip, are you having any class, make an uh, online class? It's very difficult to actually, you know, now that I know the, how difficult for you guys there to be learning about mixing colors, so I think minimalism is the best thing for me to teach online. But for abstract, it's like almost impossible because me doing abstract painting, I need the whole area, I'll be special splashing the color i'll be using scrapers and it's just not possible to show everything on a small screen yeah that sounds really fun though yes, <laughs> that sounds really exciting yes. <laughs> really yeah so um yeah so i nak buat red daun dia so red daun ni tak payah straight line you don't have to have um straight line and Ikut je balik daun yang kita dah lukis tadi. Hujung tu tarik sikit. So that dia tak nampak stiff sangat. Okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. And uh, if, if somebody is interested and they would like to buy your, uh, you know, your painting or order a specific one, mm -hmm. um, they will contact you via IG, right? Your Instagram. Yes, um, I manage my Instagram by myself. Um, to me, it's still a small business. It's not a well-grown business, so I'm managing it all by myself. Um, I only have Instagram and Facebook page. Um, so if anybody has any interest on my art, you can you're welcome to DM me on Instagram or Facebook. At Pip of Art. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. You mentioned baking just now. Is that also like another <laughs> uh, favorite hobby of yours? I um after I give birth to the youngest, I actually uh, learn how to bake um cinnamon roll. Ooh. I have no talent in baking at all. I cannot even bake a plain cake. Okay, I cannot. But that cinnamon roll is like a magic. Oh, wow. It's like a magic happened. It's just it just come out right every time. So um, I actually uh, make a small business out of it. I do sell cinnamon roll. Uh, it's Pip cinnamon roll. So uh, among friends, I'm quite popular for that. Nice. <laughs> for that, Is that on Instagram, Pip cinnamon roll. Yeah. On Instagram. Yeah. Okay. I do have. So we'll you can check that there. out. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, for now, um, I'm putting a pause on that because I'm really focusing on my artwork. But once in a while, when the urge is so strong, Pip, come on, we need cinnamon roll. So <laughs> I have to roll that. <laughs> you have to roll it out. <laughs> what do, what, you have a lot of earthquakes, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the key. Actually, uh, because we don't have any cinnamon roll kind of like stall or like Cinnabon. Yeah. You know, we don't have that in Seremban. Although we are so near to KL, but we don't have all that. <laughs> and 
So if you want, we have to bake it by ourselves. So I am a big fan of Cinnabon. So that's why it started. That's, that's the main cause of why I started to learn how to bake cinnamon roll. <laughs> you just couldn't find it. You were like, no, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to make the best one. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because I don't go to KL very often. Mm. And even if um, my husband goes, like he... I, you know, I never like ask him to go and buy it for me. Yeah, I'm sure making it at home and pulling it out of the oven, fresh out of the oven. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, it's satisfying. Yes, yes, it is very beautiful. It is very mm -hmm. beautiful. Okay. And having the kids to help me out and, you know, at first they didn't like it at all. I'm like, I was quite surprised you don't like cinnamon roll. I'm like, what? Which planet you guys come from? <laughs> uh, and then um, after three, four times baking, they start craving for that, uh, for it. And then I'm like, okay, now you're my kids. <laughs> I mean, anything for me with the cinnamon is something that I like. I don't oh, really? Yeah, I would love it. Okay, I tried to make um, cinnamon cake once. Uh, it did out quite all right, although the cake doesn't really have the great texture. <laughs> I see. I'm really bad at baking, but the taste is not bad at all. All right. It's, it's so, kind of yeah. Tough. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky. You have to be kind of very specific in measurements. Mm -mm, yeah. yeah. Temperature, yeah. That's the thing about me. I think I know why my cake never turned out to be a very cakey because... You just aga-aga it. <laughs> it's exactly. It's not just aga-aga. I make it like my own canvas. It's like... Uh, I see. As I wish, you know? Or yeah. it says uh, 300. I'm like, okay, 300 doesn't seem so nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, enough, so I'm just going to put some more. I do the same thing. It's, it's a hit or miss. Either it's really good or it's really bad. <laughs> But for cinnamon roll, it turned out to be good. It's quite <laughs> yeah. good. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, I'm done, actually. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I think much. this, um, this uh, combination of color, it turned out very beautiful yeah. compared to this one because this is exactly like um, how the client wants it to be. I see. So she, she like it very pale and very um, not too striking. Yeah. To, to match it with the home deco. So this one, mm -hmm. it has a little bit of light color, but it's just a bit. I like it. I like the pink tint. Is there pink in the in the bigger canvas? Is there pink? Um, the there color? is, but I put very uh, tiny bit of it because yeah. I need, because she wants a very like um, grayish background. Yeah. Okay. It, it, you might be seeing it like gray um from the screen, but it's actually just a bit of pink. There is I see, okay. And uh, is there a discount, any discounts for uh, those who would like to uh for I mean now currently, right? There is a discount, I believe, right? A promo code for the starter pack. Could you tell yeah, us? About yeah. That? I actually have um I sell starter pack. What's included in the starter pack is um this is a kind of Let's see. Um, and I can start. Windsor and Newton uh, Archaic set. It's uh, the, this is 18 uh, tubes. Okay. This is Windsor and Newton. This is a very good brand. And uh, the quality of the paint is, uh, is very good. Okay. Um, one set of this. And then I have um, three different size of Art brush, mm -hmm. okay, three different sizes. And then um, I don't know where I put my pellet knife, but it's going to there's going to be a set of pellet knife. It's five uh five pellet knives in one set. And then you'll have this size of canvas. This is 20 by 30 cm canvas. So there's going to be two pieces of this size and another two pieces of 20 by 20. So there's gonna be four pieces altogether. Mm. Okay. okay, and 
last but not least is this waterproof spray, which is very important for you to, uh, to lock the artwork when you're done. This is like a vanish. If you can use this, um, you can use it directly to spray on your uh, artwork or you can spray it on a bottle and then apply it with your brush. Either way will work. So this is very important. So there's a one, two, three, four, five things are included in the starter pack. And it's running 190 ringgit. And today I'm giving 20% um, off uh, with a code of PIP20. So I'm giving to you guys with a lot of nerve with 170 ringgit only. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pip. You're welcome. Yeah, so, so that promo would include the four canvas, the three brushes, and the, the paint set, the colors. Yes. And also the water. Okay, I think that's a, that's a really good offer. Thank yeah. you. That's so much. Thank you at Pip of Art, right? IG and Facebook. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. It was really wonderful. Very beautiful. Actually, why not? I can put this up. Um, I usually sell this artwork, um, this size for uh, 200 ringgit. Um, but for today, I can put it up for 150 for Miasa. And for all that's watching, it's 150 ringgit. Okay, so I'll put this up on my IG. Um, I think I'll maintain the price uh, throughout the, throughout throughout the time. <laughs> it, um, it's a special uh, price that I think I can give away every time that we have live. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you and so uh, much. for those who would like to, I mean, this is our second. So we have uh, four, we have six sessions in total. So now yes. we have two. And then our next session will be on, let's check the date. On the 24th. Yeah. It will be 24th of June. So that will be two weeks from now. So make sure to slot your calendar to book it. So you can uh, watch us live with Pip and also enjoy or perhaps get this special discount for yeah. her as well. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any last word you want to share with us, Pip? Uh, what can I say? I say um people start painting, keep you sane, keep you keep the positive thoughts running in your head. So pick up your brush today and do your thing. <laughs> I got I got spirit in you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks. Thanks. Great to have you two today. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. us. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sharing all your tips and tricks. I can't wait to use them. Inshallah. Inshallah. All, right. all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. So bye, everyone. See you next. Bye. See you.